Right, guys, I don't even know if you know about this, but uh, I was kind of quite shocked. So I'm in the garage at the moment where I bought the car from, uh, my Tesla. And um, the bodywork on it's crap, to be honest. And there's loads of scratches on it, and there's loads of hologram marks. So it's where it's been previously buffed, there's loads of hologram marks on it. So it's, it looks brilliant when it's um, not in, like, you know, in the shade, but in direct sunlight, you can see all the bodywork. It's dreadful. Now, the fella told me is he's got to be very careful buffing the Teslas because of the um, the paintwork itself is very thin. So, because the paintwork is super thin, um, if he buffs it too much, it can go back to primer or it can go back to bare metal. Now, there's only a few car manufacturers that have really thin paint, and he told me um, that Teslas have got the, like one of the thinnest paints so you can't even, you know, like, you know, if you buff it with like a fine sandpaper and you take that top few layers of paint off and then you rebuff it and that's how you get all the little fine scratches out. You can't really do that very well on Teslas. And also he said Mercedes, surprisingly, has got very um, thin paint. Now I'm going to see, he had a gadget and I absolutely found it fascinating. And there's a car, there's a, there's a um, big massive warehouse full of nice cars here. So I'm gonna go around and make his little paint gadget tool and find out which manufacturer has the thickest, thickest paint. Because obviously with thicker your paint, it means obviously you can do more work with the body, you can buff it, you can grind it down, you can repolish it. It's loads of life in the paintwork. When it's thin, there's not much stuff you can do with it. So um, I might have to get mine wrapped in the future or whatever. But yeah, I'll uh, see if I can Steal his little uh, gadget, I'll get back to you. Right, guys, I'm on a 70 plate Mustang 111, and then this one's a 71 plate Mustang 105. It's not too bad on the Mustangs. Right, so this is an S Class Mercedes 165, that's actually very thick. That's at the respray. <laughs> yeah, respray. This is an A class. <gasps> so Mercedes A classes are very low. Oh, that's bad, that isn't it? <gasps> no way. Seventy nine. So this is an E class. The S class has got better paint, but the E class has got better than the A class, but it's still low. Yeah, that's low, that. Right, Range Rovers. That's the respray. Let's try this one. That's low. Range Rovers are low as well. Porsche GTS. Oh, must be plastic. Oh, Porsche is very low as well. Try this one. Ah, that is spree spray. It's got a putty. <laughs> Yeah, it's had a full display this one. Jaguar. It's had a display. That's actually really good, that. Jaguar's pretty good. Well, that Jaguar's quite low. I think the age of the car as well affects the thickness, because obviously it's had a lot of bodywork over the years. Then it gets thinner. Depends how many times it's been buffed. There you go. This is an Audi R8. Oh, very good. Not too bad on the door. That's an Audi RS5. Oh, that's really good, yeah. 
It's a BMW, but it's a 68 plate, so it's quite old. Another Audi. Mm -hmm. This is the new Audi RS6. Looks like if it's an aluminium panel, the paint's quite low. Volkswagen Touareg, got good paint. McLaren is very low. So Bentley, 149, solid. Right, so finally on my car, well, 102 is not too bad. Save it for that. 109. So it is one of the lowest out the out the group, and then see, this is going to be spinning. What said you that to me, Mitchell? 150. I must be the respray, must not Yeah, sweet. I had loads of fun there, to be honest. Like new gadget. <laughs> um, what the fella told me. Um, obviously, it depends on the age of your car, how many washes has been through, how much time has been buffed, has had any body work done to it. Do you know what I mean? But generally, what he said was most. The cars with them with the worst paint jobs in his opinion from being a detailer for many years is Tesla and Mercedes. So um yeah. He's worried about buffing on my car. He went because if it buff too hard in the same area, I could get primer. He went because it's just so thin. I've just checked mine then and I think like in parts I was like eighties and nineties, which is very, very low. I, I can't remember the measurements, I think it was like micro micro millimetres or something like that or microscopic millimetres or something like that very very small but yeah um, every time you get your car washed every time you get your car buffed you're losing those micro millimetres but I thought it was a pretty cool fun interesting video because I didn't know nothing about it to be honest and I never thought anything about it to be honest I might be looking at um, I might, might just get a vinyl wrapped in the future because uh, the paint work is, isn't the best the, the obviously at the moment, to try to fix as best as they can, uh, but you can't polish your head. And unfortunately, this my car has got bad, bad scratches, fine little scratches all over it though. Like I got attacked by a cat <laughs> for years. So um, yeah, that could be something in the future. But for now, how mad's that? So let me know in the comment, guys, if you knew anything about this paint stuff, and any tips and advice, what you think. And uh, I'll catch you later.